Had I never stopped for the night, I may never have gotten the chance to experience this place. While the thick summer air was filled with early city noise and singing cicadas, it seemed as though everything went still as I took my first steps onto those historic bricks. It was that first moment where everything felt right. I was young and excited, but overwhelmed by everything that South Carolina had to offer. But I kept walking forward, and those next couple steps, well, they seem like a blur to me now, because I had found exactly what I wanted and more. People and places have always been the staples that keep us connected and grounded to the chapters of life. I've already flipped through many of my own and found that it's these staples that constantly remind me of what value life has to offer. Sadly, chapters are only as long as the pages that you can afford to use. Inevitably, those final lines will be forged between the ink and paper, and a new chapter will be started. These are those final lines. Dear Carolina, at one moment, you had the chance to say yes to me, and in the next, I had the chance to say yes to you. And now I stand here at the threshold of my tomorrow, wholeheartedly believing that we both made the right decision. Our time seemed like no longer than the eclipse of the sun. I found you when I was searching for direction, and as I took those first steps, you challenged me to break free of everything I knew so that I could find the person I needed to become. The path I thought I wanted for myself was not what you had planned for me. I was inspired to work hard and to engage myself, to unlock undeveloped parts of my life that began to give my purpose shape and definition. You opened the right doors for me and allowed me to discover the things I loved most about you. And in a crescendo, you provided me with the one thing I wanted to chase for the rest of my life, my passion, to tell stories to people through film. Moving forward, you knew there was so much more I needed to strengthen the fire you ignited within me. I became a mentor, a leader, a friend, and my understanding and love for this place flourished with every moment. You gave me long nights, a resolve to fight for tomorrow, lifelong friendships and understanding. I was filled with determination like I had never been before, and as I pushed further, it was like two stories were becoming one as I started to become part of the fabric of Carolina. At times, my journey at Carolina felt like film in the editing room with some of my efforts hitting the cutting room floor, but always pushing further to find the perfect shot. Together, these moments have created a beautiful sequence that will forever mark this chapter as one of the most significant collection of moments in my life. While I may have traveled through many different doors during my time here at Carolina, I have never left one behind without learning something new about myself or the people that surround me. You've surprised me time and time again with new friendships, people that you carefully selected to foster the effortless community that is Carolina. Each person added value and perspective to my experience, and their relationships have shaped me into the friend, brother, son, and man I am today. Thank you for bringing these people into my life. To all of you who are those people, thank you. You have laughed with me, cheered with me, cared for me, and supported me. I am forever grateful for our friendship, and I wish all of you the best. In your own individual ways, you were there for me when I most needed it. And while Carolina gave me a place I could call home, it was all of you who made it feel genuine and real. Carolina, you are not just a stack of bricks that looks good under the crescent moon, but foundation for something much deeper. Just as the students before me were welcomed by your open arms, I too found comfort in your acceptance. You fostered curiosity, honesty, independence, and growth. The time I spent on campus allowed me to discover strength that was silenced by doubt for so long. I've stepped away from the person I thought I was to fill the shoes of the person I always knew I could become. And while those shoes may look fresh and polished now, I look forward to scuffing them up along the way. Because if there's one thing I've learned by the end of this chapter, it's that change cannot be motivated by hesitation. It's about pushing beyond comfortable and challenging yourself to catalyze the change you want to see. And while I may have found the foundation of the person I've wanted to become, I recognize that there's much more work to do. Many more restless nights, friendships, laughs, and disappointments to be had. Comfort is a wonderful feeling, but where there is no struggle or fear, there is no strength. Change is not a threat, but an opportunity to move beyond yourself and push for transformation. So, to all of you who are rapidly approaching that opportunity, it's okay to be intimidated, anxious, or scared. 
The unknown is a menacing beast, but don't be discouraged. The sooner you accept its power, the sooner you'll turn that unnerving feeling into excitement and confidence. Take risks, stand tall, and recognize that you have plenty of time and room to grow. Don't sell yourself short. You have amazing things to offer this world, and there are plenty of people out there that are going to appreciate your value. Find the things that make you laugh, cry, sing, and cheer. Live for those small moments, because you will reach the end of that sequence, and the reflection will be that much sweeter if you stop to appreciate them along the way. Carolina, continue to foster those moments. I know times have been difficult recently, but I'm incredibly excited to see your sales at full mass soon. I know how much you have to offer, and I can't wait to see your campus flooded with students again. The Gamecock spirit will always persevere through thick and thin, wins and losses, trials and tribulations. I know because it has taught me to do the same. As I leave your bricks behind, these next couple steps are going to be difficult, but I will always be grateful for the path you've helped me carve. Thank you for writing this chapter with me, but it's time to turn the page. Forever to thee, Venn.